Welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be making a veggie stock. Super simple, maybe one of the easiest thing that you can do because we're just going to be dumping a bunch of veggies into a pot. So I'm starting here, I got some tomatoes, some onions, I think that's some kale and greens. I actually had a friend give me a bundle of veggies from his garden. He's a green thumb. That is a skill that I do not possess. So we thank him. Thank you. Next, I got some cucumbers, some celery, spinach, radishes. I believe I have some garlic in there. Again, this is one of those recipes where if you've had some veggies in the fridge for a while, they're starting to look limp and you don't really have a recipe to use them with this is the time that you make your veggie stock and when you have your veggie stock you can then use that stock for every recipe if you like so you see some smoke going on here that's totally fine i i put all my veggies in first and then i'll add some water how much water well enough And don't forget the bay leaves. If you have some bay leaves or, or thyme, rosemary, any of your dry herbs, this is also a great time to use those. All right, and as I said, I'm gonna just add some water now. And we really just want it to fill over the veggies, you know? So get the water to where you're veggies are completely submerged in the water and that's how you know you have enough and once our pot is full of water we're gonna turn the heat down to about a medium to a low because it's veggie stock we want it to simmer low if this were a beef stock or chicken then the temp could be up just a tad bit higher but with veggies or with fish stock you want the heat down low you want to you want to simmer as low as you can gonna throw a lid on top of this and once that goes for let's say half an hour to 45 minutes you're gonna strain it and voila there you have it your veggie stock that you can then incorporate in almost every other recipe that calls for water or stock. Thanks for tuning in and please visit me on Instagram at the actor chef or if you have some catering needs and you happen to be in the Texas region, Houston specifically at the time, then hit me up on rdcatering4u.net. That's rdcatering, the number four, the letter u, dot net. And until next time, keep on cooking. <laughs>